So in this lesson, I'm going to explain how to create specific types of solutions. And so the first type of solution is if I go into my prep room and I've got a solid and I need to make an actual solution. So let, well, let's look in the example and see what I'm going to do. I want to create a 1.02 molar solution of glucose and I want my sample to have a volume of 105 milliliters. So you guys have actually learned the math for this already. You're going to be using your molarity formula. And so specifically, I know my molarity is 1.02 molar. I know my volume. Remember, it's got to be in liters of solution. So that's going to be 0 0.105 liters. And I'm solving for my moles. So when I solve for this, I get 0 0.107 moles. Now it's asking for me to actually create this solution. Well, I can't measure moles in the lab. So I need to convert this into grams. So I'm going to put moles on bottom, grams up top and I'm going to put the molar mass of glucose on top and one mole on bottom. And so when I do that, I get 19.3 grams. So in order to create the solution, I'm going to take 19.3 grams of glucose and I'm going to add it to water. So I'm going to, in, in a container, I'll have a little bit of water. I'll add 19.3 grams of glucose just to dissolve it. And then I'm going to add enough water in order to get a final volume of my solution of 105 milliliters. So this isn't new. The only thing that's really new is knowing that in order to create a solution, you're going to add a little bit of your solvent first, then add your solute, and then get a final volume of whatever you wanted. The next type of creating a solution is a dilution. So this is new. This is when I have a concentrated solution. So in the back, let's say I have a six molar solution of hydrochloric acid and me needing to create a less dilute solution. And so the formula I'm going to use for this is M1V1 equals M2V2. Okay, so for example, my M1 would be my concentrated orange juice. Okay, and so I've got a volume of just one can. So my M1 would be the concentration of my concentrated orange juice. My V1 would be one can. My M2 would be, well, I need to, I'm going to need to calculate whatever the concentration of my final orange juice solution is. And the volume is going to be four cans because I have three cans of water and one can of orange juice. So that's my V2. So let's look at an example. It asks me to make 2.5 liters of a 0 0.100 molar KCL solution if my stock solution is 5.5 molar. So my 5.5 molar is my concentrated solution. So I'm going to M1, V1, M2, V2 it. My M1 is 5.5 molar. That's my concentrated solution. And I don't know how much of that concentrated solution I need. So that's my V2. That's going to equal 0.100 which is the concentration of my solution once it's been diluted, times the volume that I want, which is 2.5 liters. So when I solve for this, I get 0.114 liters, and that's 0.114 liters of my stock solution, my concentrated solution. So since 0.114 liters is, I, I don't tend to measure that in the lab, I'm going to convert that into 114 milliliters. Okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of water to my graduated cylinder, then I'm going to add 114 milliliters of my concentrated KCL. And then I'm going to add enough water to get the final volume at 2.5 liters. Now, the reason why I don't first pour in 114 milliliters of my concentrated solution and then water is because my concentrated solution could splash when I pour water in. So instead, I'm going to add a good amount of water. Then I'm going to add my concentrated solution and then I'm going to add enough water to get a final volume of 2.5 liters. So that's two different ways of creating solutions. One, taking a solid, adding it to your solvent, and two, dilution. 